Hey there folks, in this video we're going to be solving a nice math Olympiad problem in which we are given these two equations and we need to use these two equations to find the value of this expression. Now before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So whenever we have too many variables in one problem, it might be a good idea to write them all in terms of one variable and then use that one variable to solve the problem. In this case, we have 4 to the power of a equals 9 to the power of b equals 25 to the power of c, which means that we have three different variables. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and say that all of these are equal to something like x. And then I'm going to use this to solve a, b, and c in terms of x. And then I'm going to plug those values in the second equation. And from there, I can solve for x. So we know that 4 to the power of a equals x, 9 to the power of b equals x, and 25 to the power of c equals x. Now, we can apply the definition of logarithm and say that a equals log x with base 4, b equals log x with base 9, and c equals log x with base 25. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and try to plug these values in the second equation. But once we do that, we will have a complex, gigantic equation that we're not going to be able to solve. So before doing that, let's go ahead and simplify the second equation. So we know that ABC divided by AB plus BC plus CA equals one half. So in order to simplify this, let's go ahead and flip both sides. So we will have AB plus BC plus CA divided by ABC equals two. Now we can go ahead and break the left hand side into three fractions. So we will have AB divided by ABC plus BC divided by ABC plus CA divided by ABC. Now, notice that the fractions on the left-hand side will simplify, and they will simplify to 1 over C plus 1 over A plus 1 over B, and this sum is equal to 2. Now, notice that A is equal to log X with base 4, B is log X with base 9, and C is log X with base 25. So on the left-hand side, we will have 1 over log x with base 25 plus 1 over log x with base 4 plus 1 over log x with base 9, and the sum is equal to 2. Now at this point, let's go ahead and use a logarithm identity, which states that 1 over log of u with base v equals log of a v with base u. Therefore, if we apply this, we will have log 25 with base x plus log 4 with base x plus log 9 with base x equals 2. Now notice that we have x as the common base, so we can combine the logarithm on the left hand side into one logarithm, which is log of 25 times 4 times 9 with base x, and this log is equal to 2. So 25 times 4 times 9 is 900. So we have log of 900 with base x equals 2. And from this, I can say that x squared equals 900. And from here, I can take the square root of both sides to get x equals positive or negative 30. Now notice that we have x in the base of the logarithm. Therefore, x has to be positive, so x is equal to 30. Now, let's recap. We know that 4 to the power of a equals 9 to the power of b equals 25 to the power of c, and all of these are equal to x, and x equals 30. So we're supposed to use this equation to evaluate 64 to the power of a plus 81 to the power of b plus 25 to the power of c. 
Now we can go ahead and try to solve for a, b, and c, and then use those values to evaluate this expression. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something much simpler. So let's talk about 64 to the power of a. We can rewrite 64 as 4 cubed. So we have this, and we can rewrite this as 4 to the power of a, and then cubed. Notice that 4 to the power of a is equal to x, and x is 30. So we have 30 cubed, which is equal to 27,000. Next, let's talk about 81 to the power of b, which is equal to 9 squared to the power of b, which can be written as 9 to the power of b and then squared. Again, 9 to the power of b is equal to x, and x equals 30, so we have 30 squared, which equals 900. And we know that 25 to the power of c is just x, and x is equal to 30. So the sum is equal to 27,000 plus 900 plus 30, which equals 27,930. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.